Hello everyone today I am going to talk about ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Let's begin with a small case history of a successful entrepreneur, Susan Baroncini Imoe, who was diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, in her late 30s. She realized that she had a hard time completing projects, forgot things frequently, and talked so much. However, the diagnosis did not define her personality. She developed strategies not to fix herself, but to become a better version of herself. As an executive coach, she understood firsthand how working with a coach could help, so she hired one for herself. It helped to have someone ask her what she had accomplished and to hold her accountable to her goals. Having a coach who has a DHD and gets it is her most valuable tool. Creating systems and staying organized also worked for her. When you have a DHD, it helps to look at how you function and when you do specific tasks most effectively and schedule your day accordingly. Some of the other tools Baroncini Imoe uses are exercise and meditation. She works at a treadmill desk. Her favorite type of meditation starts with guided meditation and moves to silence, except for reminders to refocus her attention. Despite finding strategies that have helped her overcome some of the challenges of living with a DHD, Baroncini Imoe is ready to try something new. I consider myself a work in progress. I'm always looking for new strategies new ways of improving myself or optimizing my life. Let's begin with what is ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It is one of the most common neurodevelopmental disorders of childhood and often lasts into adulthood. Children with ADHD may have trouble paying attention, controlling impulsive behaviors, or be overly active. Symptoms of ADHD Inattention Difficulty paying attention to details and tendency to make careless mistakes. Difficulty staying focused on tasks or activities. Difficulty following through on instructions and failing to finish schoolwork, chores, or duties in the workplace. Difficulty organizing tasks and activities. Avoidance or dislike of tasks that require mental effort for a long period of time. Losing things necessary for tasks and activities. Being easily distracted by extraneous stimuli. Hyperactivity. Fidgeting with hands or feet or squirming in seat. Leaving seat in situations when remaining seated is expected. Running or climbing in situations where it is not appropriate. Difficulty playing or engaging in leisure activities quietly. Being on the go or acting as if driven by a motor. Talking excessively. Impulsivity. Blurting out answers before questions have been completed. Difficulty awaiting turn. Interrupting or intruding on others' conversations, games, or activities. Treatments available for ADHD. 1. Stimulants. These are the most widely used medications for ADHD. They work by increasing the levels of dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain, which help to improve focus and attention. However, they can cause side effects such as decreased appetite and sleep problems. 2. Cognition-enhancing medications. These medications are used to improve cognitive function in people with ADHD. They work by increasing the levels of neurotransmitters in the brain, which help to improve memory, attention, and learning. 3. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy This type of therapy helps people with ADHD to develop strategies for managing their symptoms. It focuses on changing negative thought patterns and behaviors that can contribute to ADHD symptoms. 4. Counseling Counseling can help people with ADHD to manage their symptoms and improve their relationships with others. It can also help to address any emotional or psychological issues that may be contributing to ADHD symptoms. Professionals who can diagnose ADHD Psychologist, psychiatrist, neurologist, developmental pediatrician Assessment scales Connor's Adult ADHD Rating Scales, CARS ADHD Rating Scales, ADHD RSV Swanson, Nolan and Palham, SNAP, Scale Brown Attention Deficit Disorder Symptom Assessment Scale for Adults, BANS 
Adult ADHD Clinical Diagnostic Scale, ACDS Adult ADHD Self-Report Scale, ASRS Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video. If you like the contents of the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.